Man, this takes me back. Free cars I got when I was 16. Nineteen eighty, yeah. AMC Eagle parked long enough that nature has overtaken it just a bit. All the finest eighties features got the orangey brown metallic paint, fender flares, either polycast wheels or simulated polycast wheel hubcaps. Probably been here how many years? 20? I said something about 20. About 20 years. Yeah. Shame the hood got bent. <laughs> Yeah, it's about 95 out here, so a little on the warm side. They're on their way with the keys. We're going to saw some trees and limbs and tug the old wagon on out. Those weeds out of the way. Just cut it down as level with the ground as we can. Hold on. Hold on. Let it come out of your blade there. There you go. Then you'll want to get that stump. There you go. Before you cut it too far, yeah. start to your relief on the other side there. Yeah. All right, cut a cut a triangle in it now. Yep, see if it opens. Try the back doors. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, try them all. Okay, only 135 degrees in there. Uh, see if those seats will recline. There you go. Oh, we got items. Little mousey. You could. Is this crank window? Huh? Is it crank window? Yeah. Yeah, roll them down, get some air going in there. Oh, pretty good. Yep. Then roll that driver's window down, and then you'll be able to just reach in and try those keys.
That's progress. First key you tried, unlocked it, good. It's a stick, I guess. See if it's a neutral. All right. Steering wheel halfway turn. All right. Okay, that's all we need. Okay. I'll take a quick look back here, just make sure that tree got awful big. Make sure it didn't grow into the bumper or anything to keep Keep us from getting this out. Uh, looks like I got more branches to cut. Yeah, this tree's like actually grown into the bumper. This thing's gonna be harder to get out of here than we thought. So the goal here is gonna be to jack up on the body and just see if we can get that car to lift away from that tree. That tree's got enough of a arc to it. Kind of want to be careful of that tail light just because it's probably not really obtainable. Honestly, I think the best thing to do, it's going to suck and it's going to take a lot of saw blade, but I think we just need to cut that tree yeah. away from, at least away from around the bumper. The tail light, I'm not worried about if we can get that bumper unhooked and just pull forward if we if i lift up anymore it's gonna scar that light all the way up the tree and we don't want that all right so the tree hasn't given us any options that are easy so without a chainsaw and without permission to cut the tree just kind of took a little notch out of the bottom there hoping that's gonna be enough just give it a tug forward about a foot and then we'll see if we can get any of the tires to take air with it against that tree. Jacking it up or airing it up really doesn't have a place to go being married to the tree like that. So we're chaining and tugging is the next step. That's good for now. That'll work. <laughs> this one's locked. Pretty sure. This one actually rolled. It because this was locked. It pulled it over. This one turned. Yeah, you can back up. Let that tension off. This one turned. All right, so one stuck disc brake isn't the end of the world. Okay. Let's see if we left any of the car with the tree. Not really. We did get. Tell it looks all right. I split it there when oh. I jacked it. Just seal it with some. Lucky that was flat. If there had been a piece of something grown in it, it would have. Years on that license plate. Uh, 2000. Oh, so. 20. 22 years. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know these old radials. I don't have a whole lot of hope for, but we'll give them a shot. This we will. I'll give you the deal and you can start busting the lugs loose. Oh, this one's busting two lug nuts already. Saved you a little time. Yeah. Bust them loose and I'll jack it up. Okay. I'm hoping it's not drivetrain because I'm not too knowledgeable on four wheel.
get a bar. Get oh yeah, the... it is that rotor. See, it just has a little bit of play in there. Oh the yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, because it's like a yeah. axle. Okay, so look and see how that rotor's held or that caliper's held on from the yeah. back. No, we need to we need to pry the caliper off. Okay. Look on the back and see what the hardware is. They're either going to be hex bolts or Allen. Okay. I saw on a video a while back you just like slide these out in the Okay. So an old trick that Joe taught me was to stick a pry bar in the hole and push that caliper back, which I did and we got it freed up now. You can see there where it spun a little. So, next step now is to get tires on there and pull it on out. Got them all snug down. Yep. We're ready to roll. Yeah, spider just fell out. <laughs> you can get the pry bar and pop it off from the back. I'll get the pry bar. Okay. Did you ask him what was wrong with it when he parked it? I did not. Yeah. That's always an important yeah, question. Man, this takes me back. Free cars I got when I was 16. 77 LeSabre four-door. I got a 83 Dodge 600. That was the one they tried to make like a BMW 3 Series. It didn't really fool anybody. What other cars did I get for free? I got a lot of like $25 and $75 cars. Yeah. Is make sure that's not binding. Does it cuz it's done oh it is, yeah. Okay. It's just, it's just got a tight spot. Turn it all the way back from the tough spot so that it'll roll forward and then it'll hit the hit the spot when we're in motion. Or we can just drag it. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Oops. Turn it back some more. There you go. Perfect. All right, we'll let her down. Clear all this stuff and pull her on out. This is actually day two. 
Day one was shop vacing it out, and we soaked cylinders on the dead engine. Day two, we're still demousing. We've got the deck lid latch taken apart, starting to soak it to try and get it to free up a little. Thing was parked in 2000, so sitting 22 years. Of course, you clean one of these out, and there's always the assemblage of relics kind of time capsule items so we've got the caffeine free coca-cola classic can among other items we've got a full set of wrenches what more could a 16 year old kid ask for to build a stool collection We've got the assemblage of paperwork, actually fairly preserved, not totally, totally chewed up. This is a AMC 1981, and believe it or not, we have actually got the original window sticker. That is the window sticker, yep. Davis Moore on East Kellogg, yeah. so it's local, 16 miles per gallon, but if you can rip through any sort of terrain with the four-wheel drive, it doesn't really matter what mileage it gets. Got the 258.6, $136 option. I believe the four-cylinder 2.5 Iron Duke was the standard engine. This one was optioned with automatic, but apparently at some point that probably went out because it's been swapped over to a five-speed. Got the copper brown metallic paint. No extra cost for the stripes. Fabric covered individual reclining seats. 273 rear axle, power door locks, AC, tinted glass, rear window defrost, roof rack, tilt steering, leather wrapped sports steering wheel, and AM FM multiplex. These are all the standard features down the side. Got the maintenance schedule and the owner's guide. 1981. So, coming around, I mean, this car is honestly about as 1981 as it gets. The plaid, the wood grain copper brown I believe that stereo has been swapped out with something different I think that's not the factory although maybe it is it's got the factory knobs showing 83,000 miles Regrettably, the engine has ceased from sitting. We started soaking it with a little Marvel Mystery Oil. And today we're going to go the rest of the way with the automatic transmission fluid. This is genuine Mercedes-Benz used trans fluid. This is like... The best of the best right here. It's our poor man's penetrating oil.
that tire held air for probably about five, ten minutes. Held air for probably 30 or 45 when we loaded it, but it's gotten worse, so we're going to put the spare on. And the reason for that is being a stick shift, we were attempting to put her in gear and tow it with the pickup there to try and get that engine broke loose, but it's not seeming to want to have it, so just soak it a little more. He's kind of got an idea here to take a little plate of steel and cut three holes in it and maybe weld a socket to it or cut a square hole in it and try and make a little plate to bolt to the balancer to get her a little more leverage without breaking a crank bolt or whatever so We'll see how that shakes out when it does. I've never personally attempted anything like that myself. Really never worked on a stuck motor, frozen engine, any time. So this is a bit of a first trial of discovery for <laughs> both Aaron and me. So this is day three or four maybe, almost a week later. We took all the plugs out and basically filled them up with the mix as I call it. ATF, penetrating oil, Marvel. I don't think I put any diesel in there, but that's always a little splash of that never hurts. and. So we've made a little plate to be able to put a breaker bar on and try and turn. So the little adapter plate for the balancer. This is better than turning with the crank bolt because the crank bolt you can really only go tight and eventually they'll break. But even with this piece with the breaker bar, it wasn't wanting to turn. So the next thing we did is we stuck a little twig down all six of the cylinders to find which ones had passed the oil through and which hadn't. And there were four of them that had passed the oil and two where the oil was still just sitting in there. So there's at least two that are seized. So we pulled the valve cover off and not really sure why but it's been kind of crusty from water see the pcv valve it was in there and sealed and hood was down so kind of puzzling how there'd be water to settle on top of those rocker arms sometimes if a valve is open like an intake valve it'll allow water in, but the stuck ones were this one here, and then that one in the back, and they both appear that the valves are closed. So it's hard to say why it might have seized if it could have had a mechanical issue that was the reason they parked it, or just sitting over time like that. That's 20 seasons, 20 summers, 20 winters, 20 springs, and who knows. The only thing we can really figure too much on is that that carburetor was open. There was not an air cleaner on it, and so that might have allowed some condensation 
down in there. So at this time, realistically, the next thing that would need to happen would be to pull the head off and pull the oil pan and take those rod caps loose and just work those pistons individually, which for what this was, a free recovery out of the woods, that's probably beyond the scope of where we'll be taking it. Original window sticker and all the other paperwork including the original purchase order from 1980.